coloring friends my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda colors welcome um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel um, and just yeah let you know that it really means a lot to me and if you haven't subscribed and you think you might like to see more from me please go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and other social media at amanda.colors. So today is a quick little video um, where I thought I might share with you my five fave coloring books and my five fave uh, coloring supplies because I really love to see uh, what other people love uh, to you. Let's try that again. I really like to see what other people love to use. Um, and so I thought you might be interested to see what I'm loving at the moment. This does change very frequently. Um, I tend to have new faves quite often. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to make a video of your five faves, go ahead and uh, make sure you tag me so I can have a look at what you are loving at the moment. So without any further ado, Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with my coloring supplies. First up, uh, these um, nail coloring pencils from La Triste by Printworks, which I think is, yes, it's a Swedish company. Um, I got these through Dimmix, which is a bookstore here in Australia. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit. There we go. Um, they do actually sell a number of different small packs of pencils. I think they do a metallic and a skin tone. These are the only ones that I have so far. Excuse the car going past. Um, but yes, I absolutely love them. As you can see, I have been using them. Um, and they are... On the cover here it says rich pigment. Um, and they definitely do have a rich pigment. They are true um, neons, most of them. Um, the purples and the blue, maybe not so much, um, but the rest of them are really bright and beautiful. They're creamy. They're not as soft as, um, say, Ergosoft or uh, Prismas, but they are pretty much on the, you know, on the softer side of things. Um, they have a beautiful, beautiful round barrel with a silver tip and a colored barrel. Um, and yeah, they're just really, really beautiful to use. So that is my first fave. And they come in a cute little tin too, which is always fun. Uh, next up is this Arteza acrylic marker in titanium white. Um, I have tried so many white pens, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, I've watched videos, I even watched um, Sarah Renee Clark's video where she reviewed, I don't know, over a hundred, I think it was, white markers. Um, and this and another marker came up as from her experiments as the best options. I tried the other ones. Um, I don't know if I just got a packet of duds, but um, I wasn't very impressed. So I thought I would try these. So these come in a packet of 12, I think. Um, and I really, really like them. So far, um, I haven't had any issues. They have a plastic nib, which isn't my favorite. I do prefer um, a felt nib, but that's okay. Um, it is really quite uh, opaque. It doesn't seem to discolor very much um, over time. And yeah, it's um, it's a it's one with a ball inside. You need to shake it up and activate it. Um, and it's a water-based ink. But yeah, I just really really like it um, for adding highlights to my pages. Next up, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see this 
little pen in pretty much all of my materials lists. Um, it is the Sakura Jelly Roll Clear Stardust Pen. Um, I just love it. It adds sparkle um, over the top of any color that you use. It's a really fine sparkle um, and it is just so versatile because it is clear um, and yeah, you can use it over any color, as I said. The number four is the Ranger Glossy Accents. This, um, I, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I might zoom you in a little bit again, just beware. Yes, so um, this adds a glossy layer over the top of any um, anything really. Uh, so I really like to use it on um, on eyeballs. I like to use it on anything that should be glass, that kind of thing. And it just it goes on a bit milky, but it dries completely clear, um, and it gives such a lovely little. Uh, effect or accent to your pages um, and I have just been using it a lot <laughs> really love it zoom you out just a little bit again so you can see my next fave so this is number five for um, coloring supplies and you may have already seen me do a whole video on learning how to use these Derwent Intense pencils. Um, if not, I will put it in the eye cards, um, but they're just, a be they're just beautiful. Um, I have the 24 set, but I would like to get the complete set now that I've played around with them a bit. Um, they are ink pencils. So when they are activated with water, the color becomes ink rather than watercolor um, so you get really rich vibrant colors um, and they're so easy to use because they're pencil you're not worrying about liquids and things other than water um, yeah and I've played with them a bit but I am looking forward to using them a whole lot more so they are my five coloring supplies next up are my five favorite coloring books at the moment. First up is Lulu Mayo's A Million Magical Creatures. Um, I have only colored one picture in this and I don't want to show it to you because it is a buddy color that I am going to post um, in my finished pages. But if you have, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it already. So that's one of the pros of following me on Instagram. <laughs> But um, this is just a super cute book full of beautiful, magical little creatures. That's so cute. Um, there are a whole bunch of flip throughs of this book um, on YouTube, so I won't do that. But yes, that is my first favorite book. These are not in particular order. They're just five faves. The next one, oh, and just make it fit <laughs> is um, The Way Home, a galactic coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. And I have been coloring this um, for the Grogu in 2022 hashtag, and it's just so much fun. Um, it's just got Grogu from The Mandalorian in all of the images and it's just super cute they're quick colors i love that they're in little circles um but yeah that's book number two favorite number three is the uh mystery squares disney girl power pixel magic book by hachette heroes um and you would have seen this in other videos but um, it is a color by number that um, that are all pixels or little squares rather than in shapes and it feels a bit nostalgic for me because I am an um, an 80s baby and 
you know, computers and pixelation and all that sort of thing was big when I was young. Uh, but yeah, it's just a lot of fun. And it is actually a book that I would really love to finish. Favourite number three is a new one. And it is also by Morgan O'Brien. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is Matchstick Mouse, a floral colouring book. So this has only just been released. I have a full flip through on my channel, which I will link at the top again. Um, and it's just his beautiful character, Matchstick Mouse, in lots of floral scenes which is a whole lot of fun. And finally, this is another book that I have recently done a flip through. And again, I will, just gonna zoom you out a little bit. I will um, add the link up in the, in the corner, but it is The Adventure of Cutie Cactus by Coco Wyo. Um, and it's just so fun. Really, really cute cactus characters on an adventure in the desert. And yeah, well, lots of fun. So they are my five faves. Technically, I guess it's 10, <laughs> but I did books and I did supplies. So I feel like I can get away with it, maybe. Um, so yeah, as I said, I would love to see your five faves. So, um, yeah, feel free to make a video and tag me so that I can have a look. Um, and I hope you enjoyed having a look at what I, the products and books that I'm really loving at the moment. And um, I will have links for all of the, all of the items and books in the description. And um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions you might have and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.